I wanted to show you a new feature that I've been working on recently in NoTrack. So NoTrack is a network-wide tracker blocking system that you can install on a low-powered device like a Raspberry Pi or even on your own system. Now the primary blocking is trackers, but you can block advert sites as well. I have given you the options with the ability to add ad block pluses, easy list, as well as quite a few others. So the feature I've added is this new top level domain blocking. Now I know it could be a bit controversial to completely exclude certain countries. Now I just want to make it clear that I have nothing against a particular country on this list. Except of course France, but England and France have been at war for about a thousand years. There's particular risky domains here like Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, in that they provide a free domain service to the public and there's very poor security implemented on these domains so what you end up with is a higher percentage of malware, malicious domains. You can see I've still got a bit of work to do, I want to finish off these country flags, type up a bit more about why the domains are risky. I mean in particular like this one here for Oman, typo of .com, yeah it's a bit vague that is but there are some sites on Oman could be like google.om that is not actually owned by Google and if you go to that site simply by mistyping .com you would end up on a malicious site instead of where you actually want to go. Now it just so happens that Oman has quite a high percentage simply because a lot of companies missed out this domain appearing. In a few select cases there are a few really low risk in particular here Vatican City simply because you can't just easily get a domain for it so sites there should be a much lower risk and further up here on the list yes yeah, education and military probably really low risk because they those domains aren't just given out freely some of these new generic top level domains are really bad in particular .xyz you could be looking at 50 to 75 percent of the websites on there being malicious and utter junk so why would you want your computer to go there no real reason. Stop it. And that's the ability I've given. But if you decide, oh actually I would like to go to that domain, I can untick them. Now, I'm sorry about my theming here, it's not really showing the tick boxes very well. Blame Firefox and moving to GTK and being out of the range of the KDE themes. Back up to here. Yeah, this is a bit crude at the moment, but submit. And as you can see, no longer highlighted does require an update, that's going to force download everything. Yeah, that's done. Block lists, 24 of 270. So if you don't want to do any top level domain blocking, you can simply untick it. None of that list will be implemented. As new high risk domains appear, I'll provide you an update and it will implement those automatically. You won't have to come on here to select them. And it's only for these high risk ones. For the low risk, no, nothing changes. If you don't select them, they won't change over time. So let's see the top level domain blocking in action. Ping no dot diet. Well, that website may or may not exist, I don't know. But what you'll see is that the DNS server running on NoTrack has replied with the IP of itself. The DNS queries, uh, well, it'll be somewhere down the bottom. There are no dot diet, dot diet blocked by top level domain list. 